I'm not going to talk about the game today. We're, it's football, you're not supposed to win every game. So I don't know why Chelsea are so hurt about it. If you had any sense of football, you would know Palace would be hard today. I had people, I saw the Chelsea fans so a lot of people talked to me at the start, and they were telling me it's going to be 4-0. Yeah, no, no, no. Come on. No. If you had a brain, you would know it's going to be a hard game. I, I thought it was going to be 1-0 Palace. And look at the score. I knew we was going to lose. It's, it's, it's not the biggest team is going to win. If that was true, we would have won the Champions League. Wouldn't we? Because we buy Munich are better than us, so we beat them. It's, it's football. You're not supposed to win every game. So that game, I'm happy. As a football fan, you go to support. You don't care about the score. But I'm not going to talk about the game today. I'm not, um, I did disagree with a few things, but that's Conte's job. My job is to support Chelsea. To support Chelsea, there's two ways. You can watch it on TV, silent, or you actually go to Stamford Bridge. I don't know why he's going. You can go to Stamford Bridge and you support the boys. What? That's the only difference, because you can watch the game home and you can watch it here. The only difference here, you actually, you actually experience the atmosphere and you get to support the boys. Where I sat was dead, silent, I, honestly silent. I could, it, that's the worst Chelsea fans I've ever seen in my life. Palace... I wasn't even watching the game, I was just watching them. They were more entertaining than the game. Palace made us look disgraceful today. I understand against big teams um, saying we're shit and everything, fair enough. But Palace saying that to us, that is shocking. We have a much bigger fan base than Palace and we were silent. That is embarrassing. Okay, East Lower is where the family, it's a family end, so a lot of children go there. Fair enough, they can't swear, so they're quiet. Matthew Harden is our best player. That was crap as well today. The only time I heard... Um, the only time Stamford Bridge was loud was when Townsend got injured and then everyone was clapping. That's the only time I saw Chelsea fans off their feet. Every, every, apart from that, we were crap. Chelsea fans were shocking today. They were plastic fans today. I've, gr I've grown up in South London and, I have, and I've grown up being called a plastic fan, tourist fan and everything. Me and Louis go to every game. We, we sing for 90 minutes. So we get upset when we hear, hear these things. When I go to games like this today... You guys are probably Arsenal fans, all fans. You are right to say that when you see fans like this today. It was shocking. Against City, City have a crap fan base, so we're going to be louder than them. So everyone's, so everyone's going to uh, look like we're better than them. We are shocking. Fortunately, we're better, we have better fans in the top four. But all the top four have big stadiums. We have a small stadium, so we have an advantage. When we get that new stadium, we're going to be dead. We're going to be absolutely silent. It's a small stadium and we're still silent. We need to fix up. I'm a Chelsea fan, I'm not biased, I sing every game. It's not all of you, but as a whole club in general, we need to fix up. Forget about the score, forget about Costa missing, forget about the ref. We need to support the boys. Even the fans can make a difference. I bet Luis wouldn't have got um, that angry if the fans actually backed up. The only thing I heard was Zaha's better than you to Luis. All we had to sing, Luis is one more than you. That's it, finish. But no, we kept silent, we were crap. That's all I've got to say. Anyway, like this video, subscribe if you haven't. <sighs> That's all I gotta say. That was